first story we bring to you today is that Congress has decided to help pay for the war damages and reconstruction and the new form of income tax. This is a specified percentage of an individual's income. This tax will affect everyone who earns an income. This tax will be put into effect in 1868. Next, we take you live to the Battle of Shiloh, located by a Tennessee church, also named Shiloh, near the Mississippi border. Clara Burton, normally a nurse on the front lines, taking, is taking time away from her duties to bring us live footage from the battle. Clara, how are things going? Hello, I'm the angel of the battlefield, also known as Clara Barton. I'm reporting live to you from the battlefield of Shiloh. This battle has been a bloodbath, General, Gen, General Ulysses. S. Grant has ordered the Union to hold the sunken roads at all costs, and so far the, they have miraculously held the line against the rebels and their 62 cannons, which is, by the way, the most used in war history. Well, Claire, that seems like a lot you have on your plate. I can only imagine how many soldiers you're helping. Is this affecting your Red Cross project at all? No, not really, because I need to be helping the soldiers. Here at the field, even though I have been here since 9 o'clock when the soldiers got here at 11. But I would like to talk more about the area. Dub the, hard, the hornet's nest. Interesting. Tell me more. Well, that's what I was talking about earlier. It was given its unique name from the soldiers because apparently the noise from the bullets buzzing through the forest giving it the impression of a hornet's nest. Clara, I see something in the bushes there. Can you take a look at that for me? I don't know. Let's go take a look. No. Too much. <laughs> oh. What's your name, little boy? Who are you? I'm Clara Barton. I'm the Angel of the Battlefield. Claire, I, my name's Jeremiah. How I'm, old are you? I'm only 16. I don't know what's going on here. What are you doing out here at a time like this? Well, I was supposed to be fighting a war. I don't even know what's going on anymore. This is horrible. It's nothing like they said I would be in the newspaper. Right? My dad made me come here. He's stupid. Everyone's dying around me. Jimmy, Carl, Sheen. Everybody's. <laughs> I don't know what, the last thing I remember is me and Leroy, we were running from all the soldiers, soldiers, <laughs> that's not all I have left, is Leroy, Leroy, ah <laughs> Leroy, I don't even know who that is and he's dead too, you see what happened, war, and this was little Jimmy, <laughs> it's horrible, ah, I want to go home, I don't even know what my twin brother's doing right now, I wish I could see my twin brother one more time. Well, back to you, Susan, with weather. <laughs> hey, Tom, how's the weather today? Well, the wind's blowing in a general that direction. At about, I'd say, cold. Thank you, Susan. Well, thank you for joining us tonight, folks. We'll keep you updated on the battles. Thank you, and good night. Stay classy, Tennessee! <laughs>